I decided that I want to do picnics because you lose yourself in the conversations. If you are in a picnic, you can just lie down, you can play, you can rest, you can do whatever you want. And I think coming to Azores, making picnics makes more sense. The weather has cleared, so we're off to another adventure. We're gonna go cook with Maria's picnic. Yeah. We started our day in Maria's kitchen, but before we got down to business, Maria took us on a tour of her garden. I like to, this is the more feminine uh, plant I have in my garden. It's Juronio, but you Juronio? Citri, citrinella? Oh, citronella, okay. Citrinella. Yep. Oh. Or mosquitoes. What's this one called? Because I always forget the name uh, of this one. Col Colinia. Colinia. Yes. Colinia. Yes. I also okay. have there's some different cactus. Some parts are still clean, but what is this one? Is that a I don't know. You don't know. I have in this color and also white, and they grew very up pretty. very easy. And you know this one? It's like a cactus. Yeah, kind of thing. we call it Christmas cactus. Oh. I don't know what they It's a is. pink That's flower. Color. Yeah, the so, others look very nice. This, yeah, camellias, and this one here we call it's uh, incensu. Incensu? Incensu now is in flower. We don't cut because of that, not now. Yeah, so I have a beautiful flower, oh, smells at pretty. night, and the bees, they love it. Mm. So that's the time to cut, but we will wait the flowers to come out, and then we can cut. <laughs> Why we have this, all the lands here with small farms, Oh, they do smell nice. Mm -hmm. With small farms, they will have. It's liquor. Mmm. That's nice and sweet. This mm. one, it's maybe bad. Thank you. Oh. You can, can take more if you want. They only have to be a little bit yellow. Mmm. Loqua. What is this? It's loca. a kind loca. of loqua because I already saw loqua bigger. Mm -hmm. But the best translation I have for this is loqua. It tastes like a pear. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's lovely. Mm -hmm. This is a coffee tree. Okay. You can take more, you know, it's full. We even okay, cannot catch you. them. Here, I don't think you will be lucky, but mm. here, this fruit is chisali, you know, uh, gooseberry. Oh, gooseberry. It's a yellow fruit, no? Oh, okay, that's um, uh, uh, gooseberry. It's persimmon. You know, like a fluffy fruit. Um, persimmon, khaki. Persim persin pers persimmon. 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 That's a lemon? Oh. And this oh. year we were in Bolivia, and they also have the same. Oh, I thought it was an orange. Her garden was truly amazing. It was very deep and contained so many varieties of fruit-bearing trees, flowering plants, herbs, and vegetables. Back to the kitchen to create the cozido. So we have cabbage and taro, taro root, potatoes, carrots, uh, sausage, two kinds of sausages. I don't know what the black. This is blood sausage. Blood sausage, okay. Shuri soup. Oh, okay. And the meat is pork. Uh, so, yes. Pork. Here it's pork. This yep. is also pork, like the fat. Yep. And this is beef. Beef. And okay. we will also put chicken that I will put. So oh, okay. I will bring it. Nice. This is white potato, sweet potato. Okay, so the carrots, you want them. Okay, she's going to do the carrots. Don't, yeah, you can just peel, don't cut just nothing. Don't cut anything. Oh, Why? Because okay. imagine that cooks a little bit more. So what we're doing here is learning to cook this local dish from the uh, Azores. And this is something that uh, everybody does, apparently, at least once a month, she said. Yes. In their own homes. And, but we're going to be doing it in a volcano. Yeah, it's going to be so cool. Yeah. We saw this and thought uh, it would be even more fun to actually help cook the meal. Yeah. And it's nice to learn a local dishes because so many of them we can take home and make again and just mm -hmm. appreciate. Yeah. So help us uh, along here as we put this all together in the pot. Oh, and then you tie that up? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh. She said, because it leaks. Oh. It splits. 
Yes, it's more soft than this one. Mm. Okay. All of the vegetables are packed into the bottom of the pot. We only used half the cabbage, and the potatoes, carrots, and taro root were left whole. The meat is added to the top, the pork, pork fat, beef, and chicken. Maybe put the thing by the, on the outside so it fries a bit. Yeah. Oh, A small amount of salt is sprinkled on top. It is topped off with the sausages. The lid is then tied on to the pot. If all of that in the pot wasn't enough, on top, Maria has made a cake and it's going to be baked in the volcano as well. <laughs> That's a lot of food. So everything, everything goes into a bag now. And the bag it just just gets lowered into the into the hole. Very cool. If if you don't want a lot. And this is a lemon, not an orange. Mm. <laughs> Does it taste mm -hmm. like a lemon? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it looks like an orange, but it's not. It's a lemon. Oh. Mm. Tasty. Oh yeah. It's a lemon. It's a lemon. <laughs> nice. Mmm. Mm. Oh, that's good. We're now at Furness. We're gonna cook our meal right here in the steam vents of the volcano. Cool. Hot. No, it's gonna be pretty hot. <laughs> So five hours at 350? <laughs> no, she said 70. Oh, 70. <laughs> the restaurant came just to take out food. And so now our dinner's cooking. Yes, our dinner. It's only lunchtime, but we already put our dinner. Mm -hmm. uh, our dinner will cook around five hours in 70 degrees. Oh. We did uh, meat stew, very, um, the most traditional dishes in Portugal. And today we will have this for dinner, but also we did a beautiful chocolate oh, cake, nice cake that will be very moist, yeah. I Can't think. Wait to see it. To taste and it. today is the day. And we also will have in this beautiful place. Mm -hmm. If during the day you think that this place is beautiful, in the end of the day for me it's more beautiful. Hmm. I bet your sunset's so will, amazing. Yes. And, so and we've, we've got an awesome day today. We have an amazing yeah. day, yes. So what is this meal called? Cusido. Cusido. Okay. All right. We were so looking forward to seeing it. I had to book it when I saw it. It was just amazing. We love cooking. I, so. I'm pretty sure you will love it. Yeah, and you're awesome. So. Sure we will too, and I can't, I'm looking forward to it. We'll meet you back here in five hours. Yes. All right. See you soon. Okay. Enjoy your day. Bye-bye. And while we're waiting for our food to cook, what are we doing? We're counting the number of holes in the ground. <laughs> yes, there are two earth caches right here, so we're going to get those. And they're high favorited earth caches, and of course, the place looks pretty cool. Let's go count some holes.
two, three, go. There you go. Dinner, sir. <laughs> Dinner's up. Thank you. If you see, mm. we didn't add any water, but no. it's yeah, full was, of water. I was thinking of that when we did that. I also Mmm, smells okay, good. This is, I don't know if you like this, but I will put here. This mm -hmm. is the pork, this is the beef. Mm -hmm. mm. Mm. But I still have more of everything. Mm -hmm. mm. Oh, look at that. Mm -hmm. Nice. This is nice. I like it. Take it all. You can take all, David. It's only for the two of you. Eat as much as you can. Mm It's been awesome. So thank you. Thank you so thank very much. You. It's been awesome. And thank you for... Oh, we've yeah. had a marvelous time. This is one of the best picnics we've ever had. Yeah. Chocolate cake. So, thank you. You are also a beautiful couple. It's yeah. very nice to meet you. And I really hope you come again and we can do other experience. I'd love to come there back. You go. Next time, we, maybe we do the cold fish and we also can do a oh. banana cake. So oh, okay. Awesome. Okay, that would be great. Thank you so much. Thank it's you. Awesome. I decided that I want to do picnics because you lose yourself in the conversations. If you are in a picnic, you can just lie down, you can play, you can rest, you can do whatever you want. And I think coming to Azores, making picnics makes more sense. It was fascinating. Just an incredible day here in the Azores. I highly recommend it. Mm. Keep watching, there's more caches to be found. Where will geocaching take, take you? you.